Hi, my Tauruses. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your week of December 16th general reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Crosswalkers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that you can so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, protection kits, um, does it protection kits, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. Um, I, um, that's something that'll be on the website every day from now on, on jamiezebra23.com. Also, I believe that the reading special is still going on for a few more hours, so you might want to take advantage of that. Also, um, this is a general reading, not a personal reading, so this may or may not resonate, so please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Oh, sorry guys, lost my train of thought there. I have a kitten right in front of me, so my kitten kind of distracted me, and then a message came across saying something about Sally Field. Like, I'm like, what happened? But I'm like, I'm doing the Taurus reading. I got to focus, focus. I'll worry about Sally later. Kitty, you're distracting me. Come on, baby kitty, get down. Here. This is cat, guys. This is baby cat. Somebody was passing out kittens at Walmart. So introduce yourself, cat. We love each other. Yeah, the kids love her. I love her. My husband, not so much, but ah, screw it. More, more fun for us. Okay, kitty, you got to get down because you're distracting me with your beauty. Okay, sorry, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I promise to get it together. Okay, so it looks it looks like somebody's a little bit cruel. Somebody's being cruel, a little bit vicious on purpose. Or this is a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius person. Authority figure. You might have a run-in with the police department. You may have a, a situation where an ex is being extra cruel. Maybe somebody's like depriving you of like being with them. Somebody's, somebody knows what they're doing. Or this is you doing this to somebody else. I also see the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. For some of you, you feel like... Um, your destiny has been stopped. You feel like something was supposed to be yours and now it's gone. Or somebody feels this way about you. But I also feel like for some of you, maybe due to maybe somebody stealing or for some of you, you might be finding out that somebody like um, made off with your inheritance or somebody like spent all your money. Maybe somebody suckered you out of money. Maybe there's a divorce going on and you feel like somebody's... Um, you feel like somebody like uh, took advantage of you in a divorce, but there's something where somebody feels like their, their fortune was turned upside down. I also feel like with the Eight of Swords here, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers, I do feel like somebody's keeping tabs on you, keeping an eye out for you. Either you're doing this or somebody's doing this to you. I do feel like some of you are hopeful for a reconciliation this week, but I feel like it might be a struggle. Somebody's going to have to really fight for that reconciliation. Also, there may be a fire sign, a Sagittarius or Aries that's keeping tabs on you, or an Aquarius. Um, Taurus, I also feel like for some of you with the Sun card here, there is um, a relationship that can be salvaged possibly with a with an Aquarius, with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or with a um, fire sign, a Sagittarius or Aries. But again, it's not going to be something easy. It won't be like, oh, we're just back together now. Boom. It's going to be more like, uh, prove yourself to me. Well, what, what are your plans? Like, like what are you going to do for me? What's going to make me want to be with you? Or somebody needs to prove themselves to you. They have to tell you what their plans are and what they expect with you or what they're going to do differently this time. But there is an opportunity for reconciliation. I do see financially there may be a little bit of a struggle to be extravagant. But as far as like, you know, getting by, you guys will be just fine. But some of you want to like do something extravagant this week. And it looks like the funds just might not be there. I also feel like for some of you... Um, that with the sun card here, that if there is bickering and fighting going on towards the top of the week, it'll end up with the sun, trials overcome. If you guys did have a question, um, the sun card is a yes. So if you guys were thinking, well, is this gonna happen? It's a yes. So if you're thinking that, the answer is yes for most of you. Okay, we do have the two of wands here in the reverse. So this is usually in, in um, enchantment. So some of you may be enchanted by somebody. Some of you may be um, mesmerized by somebody. Some of you, you guys don't want to know. Don't, you would never believe it. So I'm not even going to say it. You're, no, Jamie, it didn't happen. I don't even want to tell you what I just saw. Okay. It wasn't any, a spirit. It was like something that somebody did. Like somebody broke something. But you, you won't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, but anyway. Clear, clear, clear. Okay. So 
Um, so I feel like for some of you, this is a little bit of enchantment going on here. I do feel like, like you might be enchanted by somebody, like maybe there's somebody mysterious, somebody interesting, somebody new is in, entering your life, but there's, or maybe somebody's enchanted by, yes, baby, yes. Oh, I'm enchanted by you, kitty. Oh, yes, for sure. All right, baby cat. Okay, guys. Um, I also see that for some of you, you might not exactly understand what's going on here. It might be, it might be a love spell. You know, it might be a love spell that maybe you're, that's why you're enchanted. I feel like also here with the two of swords in the reverse, it's saying that maybe if this enchantment wasn't here, somebody wouldn't feel this, feel the way that they do. I also feel like somebody's trying to make something stronger this week. Maybe they're trying to get your, gain your trust again. Maybe they're trying to gain strength within the relationship or you're trying to gain strength within your finances or strength within trying to get back together with somebody. I do see with the high priestess here, there might be some secrets going on this week at the bottom of the deck or it could involve a Pisces. Um... I also feel like with this, uh, there could be a Leo involved too. There's a Leo that maybe wants somebody's attention or you want to reconcile with a Leo. Either way, somebody's trying to do something to make it permanent. Whether this is a, a love spell, whether this is pheromone spray, whether this is just, you know, good old fashioned SEX. Somebody's trying to get back with someone. So he's trying to get somebody's attention. I do see when it comes to work though, some of you, you really need to um, focus on work, focus on, you know, putting your best foot forward so that, you know, things can progress. Even though this wheel of fortune is in the reverse, it's still the wheel of fortune. It still can come back to upright and start spinning in a positive nature. But I feel like you guys maybe need to change a few things. Um, there is a little bit of karmic debt going on or this is karmic debt on someone else's behalf and that's why they're acting crazy. All right, my Tauruses, have an amazing week. JamieZebra23.com. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now.